video about how to make a scrolling score video since a lot of people have been asking me how. Um, so I'm using uh, four programs here on a Mac. There's iMovie, which is available free, Seashore, which is available free, it's a graphics editor, Adobe Acrobat Reader, also available free, and Screenshots and Screen Records, which are part of the operating system. So here's the track I'm going to um, do a score video to. It's a WAV file, we import it into iMovie. Click and drag down to the bottom. We've got two minutes of audio there. And this is the score for it. It's a PDF, got um, nice chunks that we can cut and paste. So what I'm going to do is screenshot this. And as I'm working with a um, iMovie video that's um, 1080 wide is standard size for iMovie. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to take a screenshot here. We want that to be 1080 wide. So it matches up with the video. Or maybe a bit less, because we're going to do this in Seashore in a moment. Anyway, there's the screenshot. Now I've got a blank document open in Seashore. Yeah, you can set the size in Seashore when you set a new document. In this case, it's a bit wider than 1080, it's 1120. So we want something that's 1080 by probably 560 is probably going to be a good size. The important thing is to have all your pages the same size, then you don't get bits of white appearing when you turn the page. So here we're at 1080 by 560 screenshot. That appears. Switch to iMovie, drag that in. And we're going to do that repeatedly for all the systems. So next system down, this is still SATB. To click and drag, pull that into Seashore. Delete the previous layer because you don't need that anymore. And then take your screenshot in Seashore. Again, we want 1080 by 560, so it's the same size as the previous one. There we go. And we haven't got too many more of these to do with this piece. That's partly why I chose it. So we're going to fast forward to that bit. It is taking a lot of screenshots, not really interesting to watch. And at the end, we'll have a bunch of screenshots in iMovie. OK, so what we're going to do with this is match it to the audio. Now, iMovie has a standard set of preferences when you're importing things. Um, if you go to the preferences, you can adjust the photo placement. You want to set this to fit instead of cooked fellow Ken Burns. And that way it will fit it into whichever um, axis is most appropriate. And photo duration um, here, I know that each of the staves is going to take, see, about 10, about 20 seconds. So it's set at 15 at the moment. Let's set it to 20 for the default. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, let's say maybe 15 wasn't too bad. There we go. Okay, so that first one has gone in at 15 seconds. I can see that it needs to be a little bit longer because helpfully in this piece, the posies are right at the end of lines, so I know it's going to be roughly there. Let's hear how that sounds at the end of the... It. So that's ending right at the end of the line. Drag that in. Well, okay, 15 seconds is very um, good for this. It doesn't usually work this neatly. Okay, now this one we can hear the two was a little after that phrase finished. So we just extend that. You can see that the bar on iMovie goes to yellow as we reach it, like that. That means it's lined up with it. Let's start the next page. Today, night, never more. It's a little bit early. That's about right. And again, about the same length, 13.4 seconds. And this will be almost exactly the same length, I'm sore. So you see it's all like neatly. Okay, 
and that's the right place. And this is the last system, so we're just going to extend it to match the end of the audio. And we have a snap feature that goes in with this, which is handy. And that formats up. And the last thing I'm going to do before we export is add a transition. And that I can do this with the page curl right transition. Because that um, means that you can see the end of the previous page while well, you're also seeing the start of the next page. So you can see here the page curls away while you're looking at the last note that the choir sing, and you can see the next note that the choir sing on the next page at the same time. So I'm just going to drag and drop that between each of these pages. Plunk, 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 plunk. There we go. Okay. And then we do a quick listen through to check that it all works. That's fine. Yep, so all those transitions are in the right place. And after, after that, the next thing we do is just um, file, share, share as file, and that will export it into your documents. So this is BVAL of Bright Flame. Just the description, and it's 1080 wide. That's why I chose 1080 for the um, resolution of my screenshots. And then we click Next, Save Documents, and this exports happily. And that's going to take a while, well, not too long, but it's only basically 670s plus audio. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. And um, do, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the first time I've ever said that, hopefully the last. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.